Hello, how are you? Just have to show you what it looks like, the Epic 4D Fiber Lash Mascara. How are you? So, when you come on, please say hi. Just had to show you, this is two coats of the Epic, Moodstruck Epic 4D Fiber Lash Mascara. It's great, I put it on at eight this morning, so it's been on seven hours. I also came on to show you a two ways you can remove it. You can remove it using the makeup remover or the cleansing stick. So I will show you both ways. And I have the cleansing cloth here to just wash my face and clean it off. And also to clean off the side I use the, um, the cleansing stick for. So we're gonna do one side with the makeup remover and one side with the cleansing stick. And this is the cleansing stick. I'm almost out of this one, but they're still going strong. So I'll do the makeup remover first on this side. What you do is you shake it. It comes separated, so you shake up the makeup remover. So tell me how your day is going. I need, want to know. I'll put this back, okay. So I'm going to show you this and then my nighttime skin care routine because I have allergies and my eyes are really sore. So I'm going to take the mascara off. I wanted to show you how. Normally, when my eyes are normal, I don't feel like I have it on. But because of the, the allergies and the pollen and stuff, I really feel it, so I'm gonna take it off to get some relief. So you dip the um, makeup remover and close your eye and gently wipe. This I used last night, I really like this, but I will show you the cleansing stick just to show you the difference. And we can do the brow too. I used the dark eyebrow pencil, so I used the kudos today. The brow pencil minus the dip and draw liner. So I used the brow pencil and the Epic 4D mascara. Look at how long the lower lashes are. Just going to go in there. Look at that. See how easy that was? And look at that. So if I were, I would use the other side for the other eye, but I would like to try the cleansing cloth. Let me just get a little bit more here. Go gently down. There we go. So that was the makeup remover. See that? Missed a little of the eyebrow pencil. And see, there was still enough to do that, see? So now we're gonna use the cleansing stick. This is our cleansing stick, if I could get it the right way. And you put it on your eye here. Then the eyebrow too. And if you want, underneath here too. What you do then is to rub it gently, just massage it in there. Sorry, had a niche there, okay. You see it's starting to get removed from the, see that? Now I'm not gonna open my eye, but I wanna do it around the eyebrow too, to get that off. Look at that. I would take our cleansing cloth and get one of them out. Take a cleansing cloth out, okay. So when you come on, say hi. 
and then you gently wipe and go down and gently in here. When you, who's watching? When you come on, please say hi. Let me know where you're watching from. This is the cleansing cloth. I just used the cleansing stick on my right eye. Hi, Jane. How are you? Good to see you. And just use the cleansing cloth. Now, this can also be used to cleanse your face. So I just want to show you part of my nighttime routine. Oh, the light. Yeah, you know what? I forgot. Oh, nice. Thank you. Yeah, I forgot the light, I think, on my video before last. So that's probably why we couldn't see it, and I didn't think about it. Is it too bright? Should I lower it a little bit? There we go, yeah, and it shows the eyes and the lashes. So I'm just doing my face with the cleansing cloth because I didn't bring a wet washcloth down for the cleanser. So I'm getting the primer off because I did prime my face too. But my eyes are really hurting with the allergies. They're dry and everything. So I decided to just, and. You know, they bother me with the regular mascara as well. Oh, great. Thank you. So I'm gently rubbing. This is our cleansing cloth, and they're great. It's got a light, nice light smell, not overpowering at all. But you are speaking to someone with allergies and has sinus issues, so... <laughs> But I like the smell of them. So that, we just let this dry. So th this was done with the cleansing stick. This was done with the makeup remover. For me, they're both good, but the makeup remover is a little easier. Isn't it? Oh my gosh, look at that. So we're, I know the urology is amazing. And another tidbit is to warm up the mascara before applying because, well, now the tube is nice and warm and I'm not going to apply it because I'm getting it, I just got it off. But it did go on better this morning, so I'm getting the hang of shimmying. So, Jane, how are you? Are you still ill? Are you feeling any better? So this is the cleansing cloth so then I would that would have been the cleanser but I used the cleansing cloth so now I'm going to go in with the rose water toner this is still the old packaging and I like the squirter the sprayer on this one so I just take the new stuff and put it in here but if you find the new um sprayer comes out just spray a few sprays on your hand and pat it on your face but because i have the old container i will still use it and i get one big rose water and it fills up two of these containers so that is cool then i use the serum and i started this serum on may 6th and this one has the line minimizing booster, the wrinkle reducing booster, and the glowing booster. Now this one, I did have the firmer. Oh, good, good, good. I'm glad. Uh, you'll get there. I guess it's a long process. So I do two squirts. And just go over the face. I save a little bit on this hand for my neck. And the rest. This is a lot thinner than when I had the firming, ooh, and the firming booster in. <laughs> Never talk and do your neck. 
So this is the serum, and this is good. It's a line minimizing, wrinkle reducing. And I've read that, or even someone explained, when you massage your face, it just gets the oxygen moving. So I'm doing very light massaging too. And that is the serum. Then I use the night cream. I'm almost done my night cream, and this was since January 25th. Look at that. And I go boop, 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 boop. This is a short video today, so. I'm glad you got a chance to clean up a little bit, Jane. That's good. Well, I finished work. I got home at 1 o'clock my time, 1 p.m., my time, which is 6 p.m. your time. I think we're five hours behind you. Oh, this feels so good. This has the um, calming booster, which takes care of calming the color, hydrating booster, and the time correcting booster. I always loved how the time correcting night cream helped my skin, so I put the time corrector booster in, as well as hydrating and calming because it helps with the redness. Oh, yes. How old are they, Jane? Are they young? Ah, oh, there we go. So that was a night cream. And I like to use the Uplift Beauty Oil on top of the cream. And it's still in the old package, but this is the Uplift Beauty Oil. And I use three drops and I put it on before so the oil has a chance to soak in and it doesn't come off on my, if I turn on my side or anything. 15 and 10, okay. I think boys are, but um, with you not feeling well, it's kind of hard to keep them in line though, huh? Oh, that's wonderful. So that's the Uplift Beauty Oil, and that gives you a nice shine. And I'm just going to wipe on the good side of the towel here. I did use a makeup brush cleaner on one side, so we'll use one of these towels. 15 and 10, okay. Let's get the oil off my hands now. So this would be my nighttime routine. And I like that. So, and the eyes feel a lot better. I mean, I love the mascara when it goes on. You don't even feel like it's on. Oh, I wish I could. I have to wait till I retire. Maybe make a bucket list. I'll go to England. Go see some family out west. Go <laughs> all sorts. <laughs> So, put the cap on the... Yeah, I would love to. That would be great, really. Just concentrating on this towel here. Anyway, so this is the look, the nighttime look. Makeup off, and the oil is soaking in nicely, so that's good. Oh, I did forget the lips. And you use the uh, exfoliator, the lip exfoliator. This will keep um, your lips from getting chapped. That would be nice. I'd like that, yeah. 
And while we're at it, if you want to have your lashes look longer and thicker, you can use your lash serum. And this just goes on the upper part of the eyelashes and go down like this. Go down like this and go, hi, Lisa, how are you? How are you? Just doing my nighttime routine. I just took off the um, Epic 4D Fiber Lash Mascara with one eye with a cleansing stick, one eye with a makeup remover. And I did my cleansing routine using the cleansing cloth for the cleanser. Other than that, and if you wanted your eyebrows to look thicker, also you can add the, uh, like I have some sparse areas, I want them to look thicker, so we'll get that. And you keep your lip exfoliator on for about five minutes, five to 10 minutes. And then you can wipe it off and then put your lip bonbon on. Hi Linda, how are you? and put your lip bonbon on and that keeps your lips moist all night. And since I've been doing my lip care, I've not had chap lips. I've had dry lips, but then I'd put the lip care on. And uh, so we'll release this, take this off. It's not been five minutes, but I need to be able to do something to distract me from having stuff on my lips because I don't like stuff on my lips. <laughs> so if I were to go get in my PJs, I would have left it on and forgot about it and just concentrate on getting in the PJs. But Yes, positive thoughts. Oh my gosh, that's really good, Jane, because that will help. Oh, girls, I got to tell you something. I've been doing um, doing squats, and I was doing them one way, and I hurt. I feel like my back was hurting. Then I tried to relax and do the squats, but then my legs were hurting. So today I did like uh, micro squats. It was just total body relaxation and and move when your body wants to move. I was able to do five sets of 20 squats and I didn't hurt as much, though my legs and my butt still feel what I would feel if I did it the harder way. So that's thanks to my friend Stosh because he taught me about the micro movements and all. So anyway, I had to share that. Have a great, yeah, I will. and. Doing the micro moves, it's nice and slow. It's kind of like a liquid motion and it's not as hard on your body. But I take breaks in between. I don't do like five sets of 20 right away. So yeah, it is. So I'm excited. I don't know how long I'll do it for, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. So, and um Eating right, I'm still doing that, and I'm praising the Lord for that. So thank you, everybody, for watching, and have a great night. Take care. Bye.